With iClone 7, users now have the ability to import in cameras and camera animations from other 3D tools, a landmark development for a more accurate CG production pipeline. Let's take a look at how we can do this using Maya. First, let's create a path for our camera by creating a curve from the menu. From the top view, I'll create a three-point curve, then switch to the side view to bring each point up a little bit. Next, I'll create my first camera, reposition and resize it a bit, then open up the outliner to rename it to Maya Path Camera. Let's use a 70mm projection film gate. Take note of the apertures as they will now be identical to the ones you'll see later on in iClone. Then I'll make sure to set the fit resolution gate to horizontal. Next, let's also select the curve and go up to constraints and select attach to motion path. So the camera will now treat the curve as its motion path. If we scrub through the timeline, you'll see that it is already animated along the entire path throughout the duration of the project. To release the rotation constraints on the camera angle, we need to go into the layer editor, select all the rotation parameters, and then right click and select break connection. From there, it's back to the attribute editor to change the controls to camera and aim. From there, we can move our aim gizmo to where the focus of our project is, the scorpion robot. This spot will now become the focus of our camera throughout the timeline. Let's switch over to the perspective of our camera to take a look at what our initial settings will look like. The first frame seems a little crowded, so let's bring down the focal length a bit to 30 millimeters so we can fit more of the robot into our frame. We want to keep the 35mm focal length at the end of the project though, so we need to add a keyframe at frame 1. Then go to the last frame, add another keyframe, and restore the value to 35. We can then select the aim gizmo from the outliner and refine the positioning of that as well at various points along our timeline, so as always to keep the robot in focus. Once we're good with that, we can test out the results, and then if we're happy with them, bake the camera animation. To do that, just select the camera, go up to Key, and then Bake Animation. We can preview the results and then proceed to export the animated camera by making sure it's selected and then going up to File and then Export Selection. Let's export it as Maya Path Camera. Now let's import the same camera into iClone 7. In iClone, we have the same model here at our scene root, and I'm going to go up to File, Import, and then Import Camera. Leave the scale at 1, and then simply select Import. You'll see the camera appear with the same name in the Scene Manager. And in the Modify panel, you'll see the 70mm projection parameters all exactly the same as they were in Maya. If we play back, you can see the smooth camera animation exactly the way we left it in Maya. If we go into the timeline, you'll see an animation clip in the transform track that represents the animation we exported from Maya. Notice that the focal length changes throughout from 30 to 35 for the duration of the clip. Next, I'm going to import in a few different Maya cameras that were saved together as a single FBX. Notice that the truck camera has a completely different film back setting. As I scrub through the timeline from that camera's perspective, you'll see a slow and subtle truck from right to left. If you feel there is too much shiny reflection on the model, you can turn down the bloom from the HDR settings in the Visual tab. Here's a view from the pedestal camera as it slowly pedestals downwards. These kinds of shots can be used in combination to dramatically frame the focus of your scene for a commercial or something similar. Lastly, here's a quick look at the slow dolly towards our subject. What I'm going to do now is perform some simple camera switching. To do that, all you need to do is open up the timeline and make sure that you have the switcher track open. 
I'll right click at frame 1 and use the truck as the first camera in my sequence. Then let's go to frame 200 and do the same thing, this time selecting the pedestal camera. Finally, we've set the dolly cam for frame 400 onward. Next, we can play back to see the dramatic camera movement in combination. All that's missing now is some dramatic music, and we have a complete robot commercial.